I loved a lot of what he had to say about this, although I, I despise his economic agenda, but that's just me. You know, I, I'm speaking as an editorialist, not as a reporter, but as a reporter, you know, he said, he was asked, according to your piece, there's been pretty extensive, this is a question, there's been pretty extensive media coverage of your recent visits to places that don't usually vote Republican, like students at Howard University, and he said, you mean like Berkeley, and people laughed and applauded. Mm -hmm. What do you think, has he talked at all about what his strategy strategy is uh, for um, uh, in going to these uh, atypical enclaves for a Republican? Do you know, what do you think he's up to? Yeah, you know, I've uh, been uh, fortunate to, to have the opportunity to actually chat with him a few times about this. Um, and he really uh, sees an opportunity for a, a new kind of Republican, as he puts it, uh, to broaden uh, the Republican base. Um, you know, he uh, sees a number of issues that uh, he thinks that the Republican Party would just adopt and champion, uh, you know, m- might make uh, the national brand uh, more appealing to uh, a broader uh, range of people, sort of beyond, um, you know, the demographics that have uh, more recently kind of typically supported the party. So, you know, he points to things like uh, indefinite detention, opposing that as a way to uh, sort of reach out and embrace, uh, you know, people who, who come from backgrounds. You know, his example are, you know, whether you're Jewish or Asian or African American, you know, if you can relate to, um, you know, uh, times of, of trouble um, I- historically, you know, for your people, then perhaps this is something else you'd also be opposed to. That's kind of, you know, one thing that he proposes. Uh, he talks a lot about privacy as being a good way uh, to appeal to more young people. He says that, you know, young people aren't necessarily following, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but, you know, uh, the gist of his argument is that young people aren't necessarily following all the nitty-gritty details of, you know, every you know, tax loophole debate, but, uh, you know, they do feel strongly about their cell phones and something they're familiar with. Uh, with which they're familiar. And so um, yeah, that's another way that he's really tried to drive home his message in a personal way. Well, well, leaving aside the issue of whether he's right about, you know, young people's interests or whatever, mm-hmm. um, he's cl- clearly uh, seeking to, to find common ground on these issues. But um, has he talked at all about his father's experience? Because his, his father, Ron Paul, of course, mm-hmm. was a candidate for president uh, a couple times, mm-hmm. uh, ran for the Republican nomination, and seemed to get, um, get uh, how, how shall I put this, on the wrong side of the Republican establishment on national security issues, among other sure. things. Uh, has he talked about how he thinks he can avoid falling into the same trap? You know that is uh, is an issue. Uh, you know with, uh, that I've asked him about. Uh, many other reporters uh, have asked him about it, and, and it doesn't appear to be a subject uh, into which he has so far uh, waded too deeply. Uh, aside from you know his camp sort of stressing that you know while he certainly respects his father, he's also very much his own person, which is you know something you hear from a lot of politicians who have. Uh, uh, relatives who are also kind of in the family business, uh, you know, everyone from Jimmy Carter's grandson who's uh, running uh, for governor in Georgia, you know, over to Rand Paul. So, um, so, so that's something you hear a lot from from people who are kind of the offspring of uh, well-known uh, other uh, kind of political types. But um, y- you know, it's a good point that you raise because he's going to be walking a number of tightrope should he decide to run for president in 2016, uh, and one of those is certainly going to be the question of you know how can he um, ensure that that he maintains that that level of excitement among young people or you know some corners of young uh, voter uh, blocks and among others who you know are more libertarian or excited about him or excited about his dad while at the same time um, being coming or, or being perceived as a, an acceptable uh, viable option uh, to the Republican establishment. 